Tonight, we are learning more about the two suspects involved in a deadly carjacking in Monroe and eventual police chase on I-75. 13 Action News reporter Zane O'Meara takes a deeper dive into the suspect's history. She joins us live with that. Zane. Diane Skinner calls paint a more detailed picture about what exactly happened that night as the murder investigation in Monroe led to a high-speed chase with Ohio State Highway Patrol on I-75. 1030 East Front Street, 1030 East Front Street. We had a panic alarm come through. The scanner call that started it all. Now we're getting reports of a blue Ford F-150. Someone shot out of that truck and then left in it. Monroe police telling 13 Action News, 44-year-old Ronnie Oliver and 29-year-old Stephen Jones robbed the Highlander Market around 3.30 Saturday afternoon. No one inside the convenience store was hurt, but then... Inside the Highlander Market, we got another victim not breathing. Oliver and Jones opening fire at three men outside the store, killing one and seriously injuring another. Police identifying the man who died as Michael Ronald Beck Jr. His babies will never be able to see him again. <laughs> My kid didn't deserve this. Nobody does. This is unfair. Officials say Oliver and Jones then carjacked the vehicle and fled. Officers spotting the pair on I-75 South near Bowling Green, leading Ohio State Highway Patrol on a chase. He shot one at me. Shot fired. Speed 113. When you have the chance, you need to take him out as hard as possible. Before crashing and being apprehended near Finley. Crashing out. According to Michigan court records, Jones was put on parole on August 1st. He was also arrested and charged with assault with intention of great bodily harm, as well as home invasion of the second degree in 2018. Meanwhile, Oliver was convicted of robbing a bank in Washtenaw County, Michigan in 2001. He was released in 2021 after serving his 20-year sentence. No one from the Monroe Public Safety Division was available for comment when I reached out Monday, but when I spoke to the public safety director, he called the incident a senseless act. That's what makes this thing so horrific, is the human life that was lost as a result of this criminal behavior. Oliver is currently booked in the Hancock County Jail, while Jones was taken to the hospital with injuries police describe as serious. As for the other man who was shot at the Highlander Market, at last check, he's still in critical condition. Diane.